What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. We are here with the Bengals. I thought maybe we'd do something different this time and kind of just walk through one of my games, see what I did wrong, what I could do better, what I did well. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the team, it's a Spanish draft team. I basically picked a two tight end offense. I did not pick any defense, basically. So like all my traits are on offense. I uh, got Pitts, Kittle, Quarterback is Levis, Levis. I'm not sure how to say his name. We got wide receiver Slate and wide receiver Tank Dell. Um, running back B, Bijan. And then a four traded offensive lineman. So that's what you're going to see out here right now. I'm just setting up my defense. We are playing the Browns. Don't remember exactly who all they got. They got uh, Zach Wilson and um, who is this running back here? That's uh, ETN. So right off the back, this first play, um, I didn't get my playoff. Uh, and we ended up running man because for whatever reason, it looks like I didn't, I finished my audibles, but I didn't actually get to pick a play. So then it just brought me out in this stock. Uh, it looks like nickel wide. Um, and everybody's manned up. I don't typically run man. So um, Bryce Hall, who was like 89 speed, basically got outran by Valdez Scantling. Who was like 94 speed. So that's that's the first play. Looks like here. Must have been incomplete. We got good defense right here. <clears throat> it's an incomplete pass right there. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Oh, I'm like skipping too far. I might have to use will this work. Because I'm skipping through the plays. All right. So then he throws this flat. And that's kind of what I'm like trying to do in this game is. I don't want to get beat over the top. And then once we get into the red zone, that's when we can kind of like, you know, not break. Um, so he throws that drag. That's a good route combo. I had to watch the two people coming in the middle because this guy comes in, then he goes in. So I had to watch that. The other dude is coming across. So he put me in conflict there. Uh, he does end up scoring a touchdown. It looks like basically the same route. He has this, looks like this receiver goes in the end. He probably makes, yeah. And like, I'm over here watching the running back. And all he does is he throws this in over here. I let the running back go. And then I get pulled by this crosser, the first crosser, this guy. Instead of cutting back over because this running back right here has him. I mean, this backer has him. I can let him go and then come over here. And then he has to try to throw it in. I wish I had like a marker. So if I let him go with him, he has to try to throw it to him in this window. Which, I mean, it's possible. Um, but this guy should come back. And start playing in. See, now, if I turn now, I'm probably still not going to make it, to be honest. It would have been best if this guy would have just stepped down. It's no other receivers over here. Nobody else eligible. If he steps in, then maybe he tries to run, but I don't think he has enough time to even do so. So that's how he scores that touchdown. All right, now we're on offense. How did I get here, though? All right, so first play of the game, I just throw a run. So just like in any regular season, I'm kind of still trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing offensively these first few games before I kind of like find a rhythm. Uh, so right now, I'm just coming out. I see he has four linemen. This guy is a safety and this guy is a linebacker. I have two tight ends, five linemen, and a running back out there. So for the, most of the part, what I'm doing, that was a good, that was a good patience right here. Uh, basically, I did a high-low. This guy's under. His user gives up on it, and I just squeeze it into that window. That's nice. Um, what happened here? Ran a screen. Uh, he actually picked it up, but behind breaks the tackle, and we get a positive game right there. So that's always good. Always Positive games are always good. Um, same thing here. I have the numbers advantage as far as big people. Um, yeah, everything pretty much covered there. That was a tight throw. Ooh, Dale getting shifty with it. 
All right, let's see here. And like he's not base aligning, which is interesting. So he's either in cover three or he's in man. Once again, I got the low, I got the high, I got the out. Basically, I have a route for every area of the field. Um, and I'm coming out for the most part in the same formation. So like I don't want him to know which way I'm going. In this one, I audible because I saw I had the numbers advantage. Uh, behind breaks the tackle, we get a first. That's the first quarter. Right here, I'm just trying to play smart. Like, I'm inside the red zone, inside the 10. Let me get some runs in. I got all these linemen for a reason. Like, basically, I got these linemen. Let me use them. So, right here, I'm going to try a, a pitch. And uh, he, he shoots that pretty well, but we fall forward. We get three more yards. And then right here, everybody knows how powerful the RPO is. I actually decided to flip it. And um, I don't know why, because this guy is not somebody you want to play with, but I assumed I was going to be running it anyway. We didn't make it. And what do we decide here? Fourth and one, uh, I don't blame myself. Like, it's kind of hard not to, it's kind of hard not to go for it here. If I don't get it, I get the ball at half. It's, it's all good. I did a little motion right there to kind of throw him off. He wouldn't know if I was throwing this or not. And honestly, I don't know if, say that this run wasn't available, I don't know if this is still even an option anymore after that motion, but we get in the end zone. Everything's tied up. So far, we are okay. All right, he's out here in bunch. Um, that means match is not going to work. I pick up this crosser. I'm too slow, but it's a bad throw, so it works out. Uh, what's going on here? Pick up the running back. I let him go. Another good defensive stand right there. Now it's third and 10. And something tells me he's going to convert this. He got the crosser low. I pick up the crosser high. Oh, everything's boxed up right there. He almost makes this throw, though. Luckily, he doesn't. Oh, he's going for it. I thought he was going to punt it. So he's probably going to get this then. Crossers again. And Scantling is just too fast. So that's something I got to work on. Got to be weary of the crossers. We almost get the free release on the outside, but it doesn't quite pan out for us. And see, if you look at my user, I'm really not doing anything. Like, I'm running to this crosser back. But honestly, if you freeze it right here, hold on. Freeze it right here. I mean, he could really throw any crosser. He can throw this one. He could throw this one. Both of them are open. Because I decided to chase this dude instead of coming down chasing this dude if he tries to loop out this guy should come down and <clears throat> stop him but that's not what happens uh so let's see what happens next i started noticing like uh he's not really taking any big shots if you think about it a lot of it is crossers and dump downs Crossers, dump downs, runs. And that dump down goes for 10. Excuse me. Crosser. What's crazy is while I was playing the game, I didn't notice this. That's why I need to start playing with a delay. That way I could see a play and go back and look at it. This time I did a better job picking people up. You got three people in the same area. Not much I could do, so he had to get rid of that one. That was a good one. That was a good adjustment right there. More crossers. So I got to figure out how to address the crossers. Like, what's the best way? I know I could probably cross man them, but that's a lot of adjusting to try to do. This is a good run, but uh, Cooks did a good job stopping that. And also, I've already completed this first season, so you're going to see me play the Browns again. Um, we just started the second season. All right, so we got third and goal here. 
That was just a bad throw. And we will take that. I was going to take it out, but I decided I'm not going to make it. I might as well take the yard. So here we have an opportunity to go down, score, and get the ball back at half. Right there, I just try to stay balanced. You know, I expect him to think I'm going to run it. So I, I mean, pass it. So I'll try to run it. Square is open. I took the dump down, but I had enough time to throw this post. This post right here. If I start throwing that right now, this guy, he's occupied. He can't go anywhere. If I throw that post down about the 40, <clears throat> that's a catch. But instead, I dump it down right here. Realize, like, whatever my first read was, I missed it. I think I was looking for probably this drag. It wasn't there. I looked at her. If I would have thrown the running back now, that's open. I'm looking for the drag. He picks that up. I could have threw the post, but I threw that. Uh, running that drag late and that's what happens here I'm like he's got three down linemen I got my linemen but he does a great user uh, what's that called what is that called um, gap shoot user gap shoot so it's uh, fourth and five this is just me being stubborn feeling like I can pick this up and uh Don't know what he's in, actually, but he's in 3-3. The route is there, but I didn't give it time to really develop. The way he shoots down... Is this man? The way he shoots down makes me believe if I hold on to that, instead of throwing it, with his momentum coming straight down like that, he's going to loop behind him. Then it's just a question of, is this man or is it zone? But it doesn't matter, really, because this guy is going to pull. If this is a deep third, he's going to pull him out there. And if I wait for him to get down here, I could throw this over his head. But I was too quick on a gun, basically. Yeah, that most definitely would have been open. So we turned it over there. Not good. I always seem to do like <clears throat> some goofy stuff when I play the Browns. Um, <clears throat> in another game that you'll see in the future, I like went for a fake field goal, and I didn't even pick the right fake field goal play. Uh, so we got to tighten that up. What's going on here? Fourth and four. He's going to go for it. All right, let's see if we stop him. If you notice, this is open again. He's about to break in. He's breaking in. So I have those two covered. I have no idea what this dude is doing, but I see him. He is butt naked. That's probably who he's going to throw. Yep. Right there, I just click on to, you know, square my shoulders. And then the very next play, he throws a touchdown. So this right here, that fourth down attempt. And look at this. He has so much time. Didn't I send? Who did I send? Sent five. They picked him up. Everybody is guarded except this guy. What am I doing? Let me see where my user is. I think I followed the running back. And then I just eventually just, I'm standing here. Like I'm still, like at that point, I need to come back. I need to see the whole field. I've already shut down everything over here. Cut back over here. Cut back to the middle of the field. Because um, this guy, that's a linebacker. He's stuck guarding him. So now I'm just like, let me just see maybe if I can get into field goal range. But as you can see, I don't. That's the quarter. We back. We got the ball, so it's not the worst. He's using over here because he's he's tired of me hitting the short on the right. Either that or he just wants to user the side with the most. Um, mm, that's a good run. I need to run this more often. What was this? Yeah, I haven't run this. That was nice. Nice patience outside. All of these people picking up blocks. I got to bring that back. Um, so here we are again. That same play that I threw the pick on. This time, I'm throwing a touchdown. Bam. And if you notice, let me rewind this. Like I said on the last one, this running back comes open too. 
Let's see what the safety. The safety doesn't move. So this is. What is this? Is this cover one? No. Maybe it's cover three. But as you can see, this running back is open. If I throw this over here, it's probably a touchdown as well. I never saw this guy. This is the guy he's guarding. He's worried about the short on the right. And um, I guess I didn't change his route. Yeah, so he's open, wide open, but so is he. And I just happened to be able to freeform that correctly. So that worked out. So now we're tied up. He's throwing a sweep. We got to stop right there. What's going on here? Throwing a drag. Eight yard drag. That is crazy. And then we got this. You already saw another cross. He's open. But we got him short. I'm pretty sure he hurried up. Now at this point, we got to watch the run in the pass. Watch the running back on the flat. He's looking at the... Yeah. That's good. And see, now I'm starting to pick it up after the fact. And that's kind of why I want to watch this. It's kind of like watching game film, like... I'm so worried about getting hit over the head. He hasn't hit me over the head. And there's there could be two reasons for that. One, he hasn't hit me over the head because he can't hit me over the head because of the defense I'm setting up. Or two, he's not even looking to hit me over the head. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm almost certain that when I got that touchdown to Pitts, it's because I had been going underneath, going underneath, going underneath. Then I was able to hit him over the head. In this case, I don't know if he's hitting me underneath because I'm not giving up anything over the top or if he's not even interested in looking. But we got to watch these crossers. There go another crosser right there. He can't throw it this time, though. And we came up and we made the tackle, so that's good. Another bunch play. In this situation, I probably should have pinched the line. We made contact, but we got ran over. What's this? Looks like a run, trap play. And see, I got all of these safeties out here. So plays like that, when a lineman get on us, it's a wrap. Right here. Real short stuff. To the sidelines, mostly. Crosses and stuff to the sidelines. So we just got to be mindful of that. That's a good stop, but in a sense, it's not because he's probably just going to pick this up. Like so, run more time off the clock. It looks like right here he scores. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, good tackle. But same scenario right there. Okay, he scores right here. So I'm out here in 3-4. If you see right here, I got caught trying to go straight down, and then I tried to bounce out once I realized what I should have did. All of these people right here, all I need to do is make sure nothing come out here. Matter of fact, I really should have just brought my person out here. I should have brought my user out here. Like My main concern is no one come out here. If he runs to the other side, so be it. If he runs in the middle and scores, so be it. But don't let him out here with all of this green grass, all of my slow people right here. I get tangled up right there, then I get picked up on a block. Uh, what happened right here? All right, so I see he in three down linemen. I got the advantage, so we either going to run or throw this. And I got some other plays, too. But I don't have Hot Rock Master yet, so I'm not really messing with it like that. That's a good game right there. We run right here. You know, we got to stay honest. And that's the beauty. Should have been gone. I think, I don't think I uh, turbo. I waited to get to the line, then I was going to try to accelerate. Right there, I was going to accelerate, but I had already got caught, unfortunately. But we're moving the ball how we want. We're taking our time. <clears throat> he almost played that. Um, he almost picked that. That was good. And what happened was my read. Let me see. 
See if I can show you. All right. So here, I'm trying to go for a big play, basically. I don't know if he's in cover three or not, but if he's in cover three, this will hold this safety, this will pull this safety, and this should be open. If none of that's open, then I could throw this or this on the back side. If it's not, say it's not cover three, say it's man, then this should be open on the back side. But what happens is he's over there and he just hesitates enough. He goes like he's about to play the corner, so I can't throw that. If I throw that now, that's a pick. I can't throw X because X is in a bracket. Basically, all these guys are covered, but he's about to come open. He sees that he's about to come open. So by the time I can throw this, because I can't throw it now, I got to wait till he gets like right here. See what I'm saying? Now I'm throwing it. You would think he's open and maybe I should have pulled down on the freeform. Because as you can see, it looks like I push up. So I'm actually pushing up towards this DB, which gave him the opportunity to make that play, which is not good. So we got to be a little more mindful. It's kind of hard to do when you like in the game, running back open, that's a good throw. So right now we are, we're moving the ball. We're doing exactly what we want to do. Taking our time, taking what's available and, you know, mixing it up enough where he can't tell which, where am I going? Oh, that shocked me just now too. So here's another example of him, just phenomenal user, really. He's using over here. Perfect. I got this that's going to come back out. This is coming across. I know that he's coming to two people. So he's not open. The user is over here. So I'm expecting him to wait for this route to come back out. This is just clearing out. This looks like cover two, actually, now that I'm looking at it. This running back looks guarded, but I know that I got the post coming. So all I'm doing is waiting for the post. I don't think I'm looking at the post yet, though. By the time I see the post, he sees the post. I mean, this is not a bad time to throw this, actually. I start throwing it here. That's actually not bad. But he was already committed to that post for whatever reason. If I wait and see, since I thought I knew he was watching this guy, this guy actually comes open. Bam, he's open. If I wait like half a second just to make sure they don't bump and throw this, he's open up the field. Instead, I threw this and he chose right. So that's what I'm saying. With the way that I'm running, I like this offense because it's basically like, the user has to choose. Sometimes they're gonna choose right. This was a phenomenal play. Even re-watching it just now, I, I forgot that this happened. I'm like, oh shoot, because you see him going to make a play. That was a great play. And so now we gotta make a stop on defense. I picked him up, but again, crossers. That's, that's what it is for the most part, a bunch of crosses. So we got to find out how to stop that. That's the issue. Another crosser. And honestly, on this one, I didn't have to, see, I go all the way out. That is picked up. I need to start um, handing people off. Like, okay. I see him, he starts going out. I know I got somebody out there. Stop. All I had to do was stop. I know that I have somebody watching this area. So let him go. All right, you going out there? Bye. Come back. Bam. Now he can't make that throw. Now he's probably trying to make that throw, which is an interception. So that's all. The only reason I could see to commit on that is if I thought... Like, say I thought he was about to try to throw this, then yeah, commit, but he's not about to throw this. He's not throwing this. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's too far, he's not throwing it. So right now, he's just basically running a clock. I'm still hopeful too, because if I can get a stop, like a turnover, then I still have a chance. And once again, another bounce out, I just, terrible pursuit. But I honestly, I probably should have shifted, put press, 
and then use this corner out here so he wouldn't be able to get that angle and then that safety would have been able to step up as a computer. Here, I'm just like, all right, game's for the most part over. Let me just try to get down here and score and see what's up. And I throw this. Let's see. This isn't open. This might come open. But he's so close, he can play them both. I don't know why I threw this. I think what happened is I looked at the drag. It wasn't there. I looked at this and saw that they were close. So then I was like, okay, let me throw this wheel real quick. Since he wasn't moving. So I'm like, the wheel must be open. And it was if I throw it sooner. If I throw this sooner, it's fine because he brings him back. If I throw it now. But I threw that late. Turnover. And essentially, that is the game. He could have scored again, but he didn't. So that was that. So um, I appreciate y'all watching. If y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of content and you want to go through uh, the rest of the season. But until next time, as always, take care of yourselves. Peace.